Welcome to Magical Women. I'm Connie Boyd, and this is the Winner's Circle. Today, we are watching Helen Coughlin on Pen and Teller Foolis Season 10. For those of you who follow Foolis and our channel, you are very, very aware of Helen Coughlin, and you know that she is a record five times Foolis champion. Today, she's going to be attempting her sixth victory. If anyone can do it, Helen Coughlin can. Welcome back to Fool Us. Our next magician has already fooled Penn and Teller a record tying five times, and she's here to try for number six. Let's see what's new with Helen Coughlin. I'm no stranger to Fool Us. You can count the number of times I've full pen and teller on one hand, but just barely. Five times in a row, now that's a world record. And if I do it again, another record? Listen, there are easier ways to break records, and I've looked into it. All I have to do is bounce on a pogo stick for 25 hours and 10 minutes. Where do the batteries go? Drink 22 bottles of hot sauce, in one hour. Break just 64 cinder blocks in one minute. With my forehead? <laughs> Pin 1,662 clothespins to my face. Ah, oh, for sake. Oh, to heck with it. If I'm gonna break a record, I might as well just go back on the show. Sorry, boys, too bad for you. I don't like hot sauce much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, Penn and Teller. It's so nice to see you both again. Thanks. Now, last time I was on the show, I broke a record by becoming the first person to fool you five times. Tonight... <laughs> tonight, I'm going to see if I can break that record with a record! <laughs> Ingenious idea, right? So I brought along some of my favourites from home, as well as this record cabinet that I will open for you. Now, I'd like somebody to select one of my records. And Brooke, would you like mind doing the honours, please? I'd love to. So what I'll get you to do, I'll ask you just to flip through the okay. records. And whenever you want to stop, please say stop. OK. So just flip through them like that. All right. Some good Ooh. Aussie albums oh, here. You've got some good ones. There's some good albums. Oh yes, stop. That one? Yes. Okay. Please. Now I'll put these out of the way. Okay. I no longer need those. And Brooke, don't go too far away, please, because okay. I will need your help in just a moment. Okay. No, no, just a couple of steps there. Okay. That's fine. Just stand there. Now I'll take the record out that you have chosen and I'll put it in the record cabinet. Close the doors. Now the next part of the trick involves me threading a ribbon through the middle of the record. But in order for me to do that, first of all, I'm going to have to thread the needle. Now, if you're anything like me, threading a needle is not that easy, even if it is this big. Brooke, can you please hold that side sure. of the ribbon? I'll take the needle, put it up here. Okay. And Brooke, I think you can let the ribbon go now, please. Okay. The ribbon is threaded on to the needle. That was just too easy. Thank you very much. Now, some of you might be wondering, how am I going to fool Penn and Teller with these odd props? Well, I'd like to remind you that last time I was on the show, I fooled them with a wooden stick and a glass of milk. So... <laughs> I'll turn this on its side, and you can see the ribbon and the needle going all the way through the other side. Okay, that's about halfway. Hook these on there. Now, I would like you to watch the next move very closely because what you're about to see next is going to defy logic, even more so than someone doing a trick with a vinyl record in 2023. <laughs> Brooke, 
Can you please hold the ends of the ribbon? Sure. One in each hand. Okay. Down the end. Okay. And whatever you do, don't let go, please. Okay. Come a bit closer so they can have, there's a bit of slack in there. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, normally, you would put a needle on a record. Tonight, we're going to try it a bit differently and we're going to see if we can put a record on a needle. A bit more slack, please, Brooke. I'll put that through there. You can see the needle through this, all the way through. Brooke, can yes. you slowly start pulling that ribbon? Yes. Pull it all the way okay. down. Pulling. Keep pulling it. Okay. Keep pulling. Keep going. Okay. All the way. All the way. I think we did it. Let go of the ribbon. Please hold the back of the needle. Okay. The back of the needle. I will open the front door. Open the back door. We did it. The record is on. Can you Shall please bring it to them? take it to them and show them? Okay. Here comes Royce. She can get up close and check it out. I love her confidence. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Helen Coughlin. Every time you come here, you full pen and teller. Wouldn't it be a little more exciting maybe not to fool them? No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> you probably know more about this show than I do. Maybe you should be interviewing me. <laughs> You're like this season. <laughs> yeah, so should we switch spots? Let's yeah. jump. Come on, okay. <laughs> okay, go for it. This is supposed to be about you, but okay. ask me one question, okay. then we'll get back to you because it's uh, not about me. What would it mean to you if I won a trophy? Um, <laughs> Great question. If you won and you broke the Foolest record and you got six Foolest trophies, it would mean everything to me because woman to woman, we can crush this. Good answer. All right, back to you. How did you go about making the decision to perform this act for them? Dad's the one who comes up with all the tricks. Oh, really? So, yeah, so he's 91 now. Amazing. It gives him something to do throughout the year. Thinking of another way to full pen and tower. I'm rooting for you. And yep. the boys look really confused over there, which is a very good That's sign. That's good. Helen, let's see if you broke the Fool Us record and earned yourself a sixth trophy. Are you ready? I'm ready. And I'm rooting for you. Oh, good. Pen and teller. Five times, Helen. Fooled yep. us five times. We've been over your house. You have? In Australia. Went into your little workshop where you come up with these things with your father. I'll just tell you uh, very frankly, uh, Ellen, I'm sick of talking to you. <laughs> I'm just sick of it. Someone's got his snacks. cranky pants on, hasn't he? We had good lunch. We had good snacks. I liked it, but I'm sick of you. Grumpy. Teller will take it from here. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick up Teller's thoughts. <laughs> Teller. Oh, wow, really? Yes, we have a record made entertainment history and she is the very first magician to fool Penn and Teller a record breaking I love that six times I am so thrilled for Helen and her father Arthur be sure to comment and let us know your thoughts about Helen's unbelievable sixth fooler performance Ciao for now.